Hey folks, Andy here. This is Andy's World Journeys. Welcome to Dakar, Senegal. When I was in Dakar, I stayed at this wonderful apartment through Airbnb. So today, I thought it would be a great opportunity to take you through the place I stayed and show you what you can expect from Airbnb in Africa. Okay, folks, we are here. Back up. My Airbnb host wasn't actually in the country, but he was fantastic. We communicated on WhatsApp, I think it was, and we organized when I was arriving in Dakar for somebody to basically meet me at the Orshon Gibraltar supermarket, where I would do all my shopping, and he showed me up the stairs into this apartment that was really well located in that respect, even though it wasn't sort of downtown Dakar. And while I am climbing these stairs, why don't you take the chance to like and subscribe to the channel? It really helps the channel to grow. Cheers. You may not have considered Airbnb uh, if you were traveling in Africa, but it's actually quite a viable option. And I know a lot of people do it and they find that it represents much better value for money than hotels. Anyway, this, this Airbnb here cost, I think about 360 Australian dollars uh, over four nights. So what's that 90 bucks a night? It's pretty good value. We've got a great sort of secure balcony here, which is awesome with a view over uh, the uh, Ronde Point Gibraltar or in French, Gibraltar, I guess. Um, so yeah, can't complain about that. Very handy location with a supermarket on the other side. Here's the uh, unused bedroom on my stay here. Um, my one's a bit of a state at the moment because uh, I'm getting ready to pack, but um, you can see it's got uh, air conditioning, it's spacious, nice large bed, and the other room is pretty much the same. Le salle de bain, the bathroom. And just for fun, there's a toilet there, but there's also a toilet here as well. Two for the place of one. And here's the living room, nice table to set up on TV, uh, Wi-Fi, yeah, how can you go wrong? Quite easily actually, but you know, still. With a decent Airbnb, you can have a good little kitchen where you can cook away to your heart's content, like I did. Oh ho ho ho! Very good, very good! And of course, and of course, the best thing about Airbnbs is often being able to do your own washing. Saves money and uh, you can you can do it as you please. Well, folks, that's all I have for you this particular vlog. I really found this to be the perfect accommodation option in Dakar. I was really happy uh, with where I stayed and I would definitely recommend this place uh, for a stay in Dakar. It's, it's reasonably priced. You obviously, you could have more people. You could have up to like four people even more maybe staying there. Uh, it's comfortable. The Wi-Fi is probably a bit so-so. That's about the only downside, but Wi-Fi generally isn't that great in Senegal anyway. Thanks for joining me today. Take care wherever you are in the world. May the journey never end.